Super, super important that you learn your pentatonic scales in different positions. Why just learn it in one position and you can only play it in one spot of the bass? Let's go over how to do that right now. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Trust me, I know pentatonic scales are the way to go when you're soloing, when you're improvising, but you can use them in a different way. So take what you know and flip it or use it to your advantage. You also may have heard this referred to as inversions just because of the nature of it. We're starting on one note and then starting on the next note of this scale. So let me just show you. So we're starting with the key of C major, like I said before, the notes C, D, E, G, A, and then back to C. So working with those five different notes. What we're gonna do next is go up the fretboard and play from D to D using the same exact note. So we have D, E, G, A, C, and then back to D if you would like. So keep in mind guys, because we play the bass and it's full of patterns, every one of these positions that we play has its own pattern. So just keep that in mind, memorize these positions as we play them because they won't change depending on what key you're in. They're gonna be the same thing. So we're on the key D or we're on the note D. And you see that pattern there, very simple box pattern. One, three, one, three, one, three. So before we go any further, I just wanted to point out, you guys see this? Like, I don't wanna, I can zoom in. I don't know if I can zoom into this, but there's like this huge scratch on my nose. Uh, my dog kind of mauled me. Um, anyway, he got his nails cut and just, don't ask me how it happened. Uh, yeah, he just kind of sliced my face right open. Got this cut here, this cut here. Anyway, I know. Don't go, Derek. Hey, what's that on your nose? I feel like that Austin Powers movie where he had a mole on his face. The guy had a mole on his face. I don't know. So you're the mole. Anyway, let's keep going. So the next pattern. So you're going to start on E. The notes we had there in the previous were D, E, G, A, C. The next one we have E, G, A, just moving along in that pattern just playing those notes in a row starting on the next note okay so seventh fret starting on the a string on the e we have one four one four one three okay Doo -doo 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 -doo. and listen to the tones uh, and the uh the tonality of these different positions and see which one you like best Remember, we're still in the key of C. We're still using the same notes in every single note inside of the C pentatonic, C major pentatonic scale. You can do the same thing for a minor pentatonic scale as well, and I'll show you why. Next pattern. Personally, this is my favorite one. It sounds very, you know, Western, right? Anyway, get the ideas. I just love that one. So we have, for this one, we have G, A, C, D, E. All right, so one, three, one, three. And we can, uh, we can play this a different way. We can play two, four, two, four, one back here, or we can do one, three, one, three, four, stretch. But this actually helps you learn your fretboard a little bit better. Instead of just learning the scale linearly, straight down in one position, you're actually moving the fretboard. Last but not least, we're gonna start on the fifth note. So our last note will be A that we're starting on. So we're playing our last position, last pattern. Tell me what that looks like. So we have A, C, D, E, G, and then back to A. So that is literally a minor pentatonic scale starting on the note A. So A minor pentatonic scale but you're in the key of C major as well. Has all of the notes included, A, D, we just went over them, D, E, G, and it works just as well. So you can use and play this concept as an exercise. You can play it inside of a groove. Uh, you can play it back to back. You can play it up and down, ascending, descending. And then we're 
back up to the top after that fifth one. Or you can split it up and break it up and make it a little bit more interesting. You can play with a groove. You can play the first four notes. Or you can descend the first four notes. So then you have this syncopated type of pattern that sounds really cool. Super cool, right? So you can mix this up as much as you want to, as much as you would like, and just have fun with it. You can play it inside of a groove like we did in the beginning. Uh, you can use this to your advantage, even if you're in the key of A minor. We'll talk about that a little bit later too. If you're in the key of A minor, you can play this C major pentatonic scale like we did in the beginning. idea i'm getting a little carried away but anyway if you would like to learn more about this concept especially playing the major over the minor it's tons of tutorials and lessons that we have over at the bass nation academy uh link is going to be in the description if you guys are interested in that or want to take your bass playing to the next level strongly suggest you do that also if you haven't subscribed here we upload every single week don't miss it hit that notification bell hit the subscribe button at the same time they're right next to each other back to back so we'd love to see you here every single week make sure you know to come on out clean clear and precise. Thank you guys later. Oh, if you have any questions and or comments, put them in the comment section. Peace.